Hello and welcome back to the channel. ThoughtGore here. Thanks for taking the time today to uh, watch another video. So today I have um, uh, some fan play. Uh, me and uh, one of my um, fans here, Mouth1313. I'm just going to call him Mouth. Um, you know, he got in touch with me the game in the game. Thank you so much for doing so. And uh, I had some free time here, so did he. So we decided to uh, division up and uh, play a few games. So this game we're looking at, uh, it is, uh, I'm in my Minkaze uh, and um, Mouth is in his New York. Uh, we are on Fault Line and uh, it is Domination. Now, we did play a total of uh, three matches, uh, Mouth and I, however, uh, this was the best of the three matches, uh, so I thought I would feature that today. Um, now, surprisingly, teamwork was the first thing on on the top of everyone's mind. You can see in chat uh, we're discussing about where we're going to go based on the placement uh, that we have and it uh, looks like we are going to go B, uh, sorry A and B. Uh, we're abandoning C and um, I was so surprised by this I even commented here, you can see me typing in now, that we're all in agreement. Um, doesn't happen often so this you know this is shaping up to be a, a really really good game here. So the initial plan for me uh, was to cruise around B, see what I see, and uh, then adjust from there. Um, you can see that I am heading towards B. We can look at the team dispersion. It almost looks like those two cruisers behind me are, are going to uh, you know, not play along with the team and go for C, but that's not the case. You're going to see them turn around here shortly and um, you know, come in and really help out. Now, the majority of the team in this early stages are getting in position to take A, um, which is great because we really, you know, when there's three points like this, you, you want to take either A or C before you really take B, because if you're taking B then you're fighting from both sides, uh, while they might have A and they might have C. Uh, if you go and take A and, uh, either A or C first, then you have, you know, one side that hopefully is going to be dominated by friendly ships, so you really only have to worry about um, the one side. In our case, we're going to have to worry about C because we went A and B. I am coming into B. I don't know what you guys thought last time about the introduction of some music in the background, but I loved it. I am a classical music fan, um, so today I'm going to do something a little similar, and uh, we are going to cue the epic music. And there it goes. Fantastic. So now we're really, uh, you know, cooking with uh, bacon here. I don't know if that's the expression, I just said it. I've had a bit of coffee, so <laughs> if I'm wrong, <laughs> just let me know. Uh, Alright, so I lost some initial uh, torpedoes there off at the Kuma. Um, yeah, they. I thought they had a pretty good chance of, of hitting them. On my mind, Kaze, um, I have the upgraded torpedo, so it gives me the 10 kilometer range, but they are a lot slower. I don't know if any of you watch um, Jingles, The Mighty Jingles. He did uh, an episode there where he and Rita Gamer were playing both of mine causes, just showing off the two different torpedo styles. Really great video, highly recommend it. Um, I'll put a link to Jingles' channel here in my comments. So you can see my initial torpedo run didn't go so great. Um, I wasn't paying attention here, and man, look how close that is. Oh, almost grounded it. Um, if this wasn't a game, I'd be on the beach and, um, you know, my crew would be accusing me of uh, drinking too much. I do launch two torpedoes there. They don't go anywhere. I thought they might have cleared that little island, but they don't. Not a big deal. I've got three torpedo launchers on the mine uh Two tubes each. Uh, sorry, two torpedoes in each tube. So I've got six torpedoes. I like mine Kaze. Well, I, I love mine Kaze. Uh, it's a great ship great destroyer. If you don't have one, consider getting one. It's really awesome. So I am moving into B. We can see they have some planes around. They're not a threat to me at this time um, because I've been detected by actual ships. So that's the biggest uh, biggest threat right now going on. I do pop my smoke and I send off some torpedoes. Um, it was a hasty torpedo shot. I didn't know if they were going to hit or not, but I sent it out anyway. Uh, at the very least, get them to turn, maybe stop killing me here. Now it gets pretty hairy, um, so I am going to decide to retreat because as you can see I just lost almost all my health and then blam, two torpedo hits on that Kuma and I get him. I 
run aground there for a brief moment, but it's not so bad I can just power through it. Getting really lucky with, <laughs> with that incoming fire. I mean, you can see the dirt splashing off the mountain on that one. Um, so I'm, I'm getting out of here. Now, I am uh, coming into, uh, you know, coming around into mouth here. Because um, the team, you can see, they've taken A, and now they're going to go start going for B. We've got this coordination going on in the chat. Excellent to see. Everyone has checked their, um, yeah, I don't know what I'd call it. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with attitude, I guess. Everyone check their attitude at the door. I am launching more torpedoes, um, going back around the island, trying to get some cover here, and more importantly, meet up with my team and with Mouth. Um, now, Mouth is a little slower, as I'm sure you all realize. Uh, the New York is um, its a great ship, not very fast, so it takes a little longer for uh, these ships to get into engagement ranges, so if you are divisioned up with, um, you know, anyone in a slower ship, doesn't always have to be American Battleship, but anyone in a slower ship, try to take that into consideration. You don't want to run in there and just die right away. So, um, I've got the Congo in my sights here. I'm firing off some torpedoes at them. Um, we're going to see those torpedoes don't miss, but wait for it. It's coming. Mouth is about to make his presence felt. Now we can see, there it is. Mouth just one, sh well not one shot it, but I mean he was uh, on low health, but he just got, uh, what was that, three Citadel hits, total of 32,000 damage done to the Congo, and he's out of the game. That was awesome. Good job, my friend. Um, and it saved me as well. I mean, that Congo was a pretty big pain in my side. I was going to have to wait for more torpedoes to um, to to reload before I could actually shoot a meaningful torpedo spread into the Congo. Keeping in mind, I do keep that third one in reserve for emergency situations, so I would have at least had two torpedoes to shoot off at him. So now we are together. Uh, you can see um, I'm pretty close to mouth. The rest of the team is now starting to bear down on B. Um, you know, we're really, really doing well this match so far. Everything seems to be going fine. Um, that is, I believe, it's two Kumas? No, two Omahas, I believe, yeah. So, I, I can sight them up. I'm not being spotted. I'm going to uh, shoot off some yeah, speculative rounds, see what they do. Um, remember, I mean, uh, when I do shoot my torpedoes, the intention is always to hit, as I'm sure that's fairly obvious. Uh, but there are times when I'm shooting them off and I realize that most likely they're not going to hit, I'm firing them anyway, uh, maybe distract them a little. Now this guy in the other mine, Kaze, I type in chat, careful buddy. Um, I don't know if he saw me and thought that it was cool, I'm not sure, but that was really close. Uh, don't do this to your allies, okay? If you're working on a team and you give them some fair warning that you're about to do it, all right, cool, but just try to avoid situations like that. Got another kill there. It was a Kuma, so I'm up to two kills, two devastating strikes, and four torpedo hits. Uh, that's actually where I'm going to finish the game for my performance. Um, the rest of the team, because at this point we're all kind of bearing down in here, and we're doing quite well. Um, the you know the rest of the team, like I say, pulls up or well pulls their pant or pulls their socks up here. We really pull together and we just start tearing into these guys. Um, we've only lost one ship so far, so we're, we're doing really good. B is captured, um, capture points are in our favor, you know, not bad at all. A um, little correction there, that was an Omaha that I took out with the torpedoes. I don't know if I said it was a, my second kill there, I don't know if I said it was a Kuma, but anyway, Omaha. Um, so you can see the team is really staying close, we're really supporting each other. I'm pulling up alongside Mouth here. Bit of a corny moment, um, but if I actually had crew on my ship, and if I was able to, you know, sort of give them orders and whatnot, my crew would be uh, would be saluting Melf at this time as I'm doing the path, uh, the uh, drive by. He did really did a fantastic job. Um, so we've got you can see in chat one of my teammates just got a flesh wound, uh, so good on him. And then surprise, surprise, he's actually going to get another one. There it is. That was really a good job. Uh, the player's name, 
ARQ? I, I, my pronunciation is pretty bad. Uh, A-R-Q-U. So I'm not sure what that, how that's pronounced, but that gentleman just got himself, uh, you know, 10, it's but a flesh wound flag, really nice flags, and two kills. Good show, buddy. Um, at the end of the match, you're going to see no one did spectacularly well, like, you know, crazy, you know, 4,000 base XP, anything like that, no. Because we're working as a team, it's really, the, the points are really divided up evenly here. Uh, we're all doing very well. Uh, no glory hogs in this game whatsoever, so that, that's nice to see as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. So mine cause it, you can see my ally right there on the other side of the mountain and I, we're lining up in this New York. I know the mine cause is going to be trying to get that kill before I do. Um, and it's not that I'm trying to steal it from her or anything. I'm just sort of act, acting as a backup. I've seen torpedoes this close miss, so I'm launching my torpedoes in case his torpedoes miss. Of course, at that range, though, they don't miss. That was one hell of a play by that mine cause. I don't know how he got around the New York like that. I don't know what the New York was doing, but good show to you uh, in the mine cause. Uh, his name was Shell Code, maybe? S-H-E-L-L-C-O-D-E. -L -L uh, possible it was Shelly Code. S-H-E-L-I-C-O-D-E. -E. Not 100% sure, but whomever you are, good show to you. Um, now the last enemy we've got is the Megami. So you can see, I just a few minutes ago mentioned, um, uh, pointed out how many t uh, enemy ships were left. They've only got one now. So we're firing in on the uh, Megami. My torpedoes are not going to hit. So at this point uh, in the game, it is winding down. You'll notice uh, epic music is starting to come to a close here. Um, and we've just about got the, uh, the cap or the cap points to win, 992, um, so we're getting there. I do make a comment in uh, in chat there that this video will make YouTube, rightly so, it was a great game. I did finish uh, with 1595 base XP, um, everyone on our team except two did better than the entire enemy team, so you can see that this was really a team effort on all of our behalves, um, we just slaughtered these people. Uh, it was a fantastic game. Now, before I end off the video today, um, I did want to also just take a few minutes here to talk about the collaboration that Game Goon and I uh, sort of have going on at this time. If you recall from yesterday's video, I had mentioned that uh, he and I are going to start doing um, some videos together. Um, try and talk about live, talk about uh, strategies we're employing, strategies enemies are employing, um, you know, looking at the map. So we got our first one done uh, last night. It uh, wasn't too bad. I, I think it was about maybe an hour, hour and a half worth of footage that Game Goon got. Uh, I am putting a link of Game Goon's YouTube channel here in my video description, so please check his channel out as well. Hit subscribe, like, and tell a friend. Um, eh, I mean, last night's um, gameplay was pretty good. I think the, the quality of the conversation was better than our actual gameplay. I do want to apologize for my poor, poor performance. Um, as I had said to Game Goon, um, you know, when I'm recording these videos, I, I record the game footage and uh, then I edit it, you know, make it all nice how I want it. Um, hopefully each video is getting better as well because I'm still learning. Uh, but anyway, I have the benefit of going through these old recordings and um, choosing the best ones or the ones that I want to highlight, uh, not the 50 billion recordings I have of me entering into a battle and dying. <laughs> <laughs> and that's not what happened last night. Uh, we did have uh, some good matches. Most of them were defeats, but uh, he and I were, you know, main contributors to the team. So if you if you do want to check that out, go right ahead. As I say, the link is in the description below. Uh, so just pop on over to his channel there and, and uh, take a look at that. Uh, tell us what you think. Um, and just to maybe finish off today's video. I, I might try and put up another video today. Uh, who knows, but I do just want to also touch on the growth of uh, my channel. So I do, I think we're up to 17 subscribers now, so that's pretty great. I've only been at this maybe a little over a week. Uh, maybe it's a week today. I don't know. Uh, but 
that's great. Um, and I did post, or rather, I did make a new thread in the World of Warships forum. <clears throat> Excuse me. I put a link to it in the old thread. Uh, no one said anything to me, but I was looking around the forums, and I, I didn't have my actual post in the right place in the forum, so I wanted to change that. I didn't want to cause any inconvenience for any of the maybe moderators or channel admins on uh, forums. So that's where we're going to go now for that. Um, and yeah, you know, just a huge thank you to to all of you guys um, leaving comments, um, letting me know what you like uh, about the channel, and you know, waiting for more videos. So um, that's it for this video today. Um, as mentioned, I might try and put up a, a second video later today. Um, as always, though, if you haven't already, you know, click subscribe, uh, press that like button if you like it, leave a comment, any comment uh, at all. Um, I do try to reply to each individual comment or, or you know, get you guys in, engaged uh, with me. Um, and that really helped as well. It makes my day and I, I hope it makes your day as well. So thanks again for watching and um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day.